Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 6 challenges for season 8. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so please excuse any mispronunciations. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are 3 challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of those three is, visit a wooden rabbit, a stone pig, and a metal llama and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The second challenge is, visit the 5 highest elevations on the island and is also worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The third challenge of the free battle pass is, Eliminate 3 opponents at Lazy Lagoon or Frosty Flights and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you're at tier 100. The next 4 challenges are only for people that bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, land at Fatal Fields and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you're at tier 100. The second stage for the fourth challenge is, land at Lazy Lagoon. The third stage for the fourth challenge is Land at Shifty Shafts The fourth stage for the fourth challenge is Land at Frosty Flights And the fifth and final stage for the fourth challenge is Land at Sunny Steps The fifth challenge is Search where the knife points on the treasure map loading screen and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP The sixth challenge is Get an elimination with a flint knock pistol or boom bow and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. The final challenge this week is, use different throwable items in a single match and is also worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. And that's it for week 6 so let's look at the details and show you the easiest and fastest way to complete them. You can also now put a challenge as your party assist so if you struggle with one, Set it as your party assist and you can complete it with friends who are in your lobby. The first challenge is, visit a wooden rabbit, a stone pig, and a metal llama and if you visit them all, you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The metal llama has been around for some time but the locating of it is just northwest of Junk Junction. Once you have done that, it would be a good idea to go to the racetrack east of Junk Junction to get a driftboard or quad crasher to make it easier to get to the next location. The location of the Wooden Rabbit is just north of Snobby Shores. You could do this in the same game as long as you don't encounter many people. And the final animal you need to visit in order to complete this challenge is the Stone Pig and the location for that is just southeast of Lucky Landing. You will most likely have to do this in a different match as the others because it is quite far away from them. However it is possible so if it is in the circle and you have a vehicle then you might as well try and get it. The second challenge is, visit the 5 highest elevations on the island and if you do that, you can get another 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The first location you should go to is the one on the mountain in between Tilted Towers Pleasant Park and Snobby Shores. This is a good one to start off at because there are vehicles on that mountain so if you get one of them, you can easily go to the next locations. The second location for this challenge is just on the mountain west of the previous location. The third location is on top of the castle on Polar Peak. You could either land up there when you drop out the battle bus and that would be easier than building up which is the other thing you can do. Beware though, there could be some other players dropping there as well so just look out for them. The fourth highest elevation is on top of the submarine on the mountain just southeast of Frosty Flights. Once again, you could either drop here when you jump out the battle bus. Build up here although that might take a lot of time and materials, or get a vehicle and use the boost to try and get up. The fifth and final one is on top of the volcano. The easiest way of doing this one is to wither land here when you drop out the battle bus or go into the volcano and get shot out which will get you high enough to reach this location. 
The third challenge is, eliminate three opponents at Lazy Lagoon or Frosty Flights and you can get 10 Battle Stars or 1000 XP if you get all the eliminations. These locations are similar sized so there isn't really a best one to go for. Do this challenge in solo as you can easily get kills there and there will probably be more people there. You can go to whatever location you feel is better but the best one to go for is whatever one is closet on the battle bus route. This will result in more people meaning you could get more kills. Of course, if you want it a bit less populated, you could always go to the one that the battle bus passes over last. This will most likely still have people but maybe not as many as the other location. The fourth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, land at fatal fields and you can get one battle star or 100 xp if you complete this stage. The second stage for the fourth challenge is, land at lazy lagoon and you get get one battle star or 100 xp. The third stage for the fourth challenge is, land at shifty shafts and you can get one battle star or 100 xp. The fourth stage for the fourth challenge is, land at frosty flights and you can get another one battle star or 100 xp. The fifth and final stage for the fourth challenge is, land at sunny steps and you can get a final one battle star or 100 xp. This challenge is very easy as all you need to do is land at the locations and you have this challenge complete. You could try and do this challenges with other challenges so you could get two or more done in one game. The fifth challenge is, search where the knife points on the treasure map loading screen and if you collect it, you can get 5 battle star or 500 xp. This is the loading screen and you can clearly see that the knife is pointing just above the race track in the trees. The location of the star you need to collect is just on the little patch of dirt in the middle of all the trees. Just go to this location and collect the battle star and you should get this challenge done. The sixth challenge is, get an elimination with a flint knock pistol or boom bow and if you get the elimination, you will get 10 battle stars or 1000 xp. Team rumble would be a good game mode as you can easily try again if you die. The flint knock pistol is quite good and you will most likely find it more often than the boom bow so your kill will most likely be with the flint knock pistol. However if you do come across a boom bow then take it as it will be quite easy to get a kill with it once you find it. The last challenge for week 6 is, use two different throwable items in a single match and you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 xp if you do. For this challenge, you can only use the following. Clinger Stink Bomb Boogie Bomb Impulse Grenade And Dynamite Once you come across them, throw one of them just to make sure you don't forget or in case you get into a fight with someone and die so you didn't have a chance to use both. You do have to wait until you can come across them but it shouldn't be that hard anyway as they are only the rare and uncommon rarity. Also make sure you look out for vending machines as there is quite a high chance you will like me across one of these items in one. And if you complete every challenge from season 8, you can either unlock a secret battle star or a secret banner. This week, it is a secret banner. The location of this secret banner is in between the block and lazy lagoon just next to the mountain in front of the palm tree. These will give you a banner to use as your banner icon. And that is everything you can do for week 6. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to KLS for weekly challenge guides and hit the notification so you know as soon as we've released it so you can get your challenges done as soon as possible. We are desperate to do other videos like completions so check the description on how to submit any clips you have and we could feature you in a video. Also, feel free to leave a comment as we will read all of them and reply. Thanks for watching the week 6 challenges guide. Bye.